Halle Berry and Billy Bob Thornton. Halle Berry's Oscar-winning turn alongside Billy Bob Thornton in the 2001 critically acclaimed film Monsters Ball has been long rumored to have been inspired by some true-to-life work in front of the camera. The unrestrained intensity and undeniably awkward vibe of the mid-film love scene between the two leads spurred whispers of how much acting was actually involved. For her part, Barry didn't exactly douse the flames of the rumor when she described the scene as animalistic, and acknowledged that both had agreed to be uninhibited with their bodies. Robert Pattinson Before the Twilight series turned him into a national heartthrob, the actor best known for portraying Edward Cullen got a little too into the role of Salvador Dali in the 2008 indie flick Little Ashes. During a vivid masturbation scene in the film, critics and keen-eyed filmgoers noticed that Robert Pattinson's O-face looked pretty authentic. Pattinson admitted as much in a candid interview, copping to the fact that he was handling his business just below the camera. As he states plainly, my orgasm face is recorded for eternity. Shia LaBeouf If you were offered a movie role requiring you to legitimately bed a litany of attractive young actresses, you'd probably have trouble turning down the part. So was the role posed to Shia LaBeouf by director Lars von Trier as a part of his aptly titled film, Nymphomaniac. In fact, both the lead actor and director brought major buzz to the movie's release by promoting the real sex scenes ahead of time. Since then, however, lead actress Stacey Martin has tossed some cold water on the unique marketing, saying that the realistic lovemaking scenes were actually comprised of CGI, fake vaginas, and porn doubles. Divine Flamboyant director John Waters was no stranger to controversy during his 1970s filmmaking heyday through the production of his transgressive cult films. Waters reached his perverse oddball peak with 1972's Pink Flamingos, starring depraved drag queen Divine. Through the direction of Waters, Divine, described as the filthiest person alive, is degraded through eating dog poop and even performing fellatio on an actor playing the role of her son. The blowjob in question is widely understood to be completely real, as confirmed by both Waters and Divine. Melvin Van Peebles Few films on this list carry the cultural significance of Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song, a 1971 black exploitation film by actor and director Melvin Van Peebles. The film was also primarily financed by Van Peebles after no studio would pick it up, and it's still considered to be the most essential work within the black exploitation subgenre. The flick features a number of unsimulated sex scenes involving Van Peebles. He has admitted as much, even acknowledging that he contracted an STD during production. Marilyn Manson and Evan Rachel Wood the best way to kill a rumor is to deny it outright, and an unwillingness to do so can sometimes fairly or unfairly serve as a form of confirmation. So the fact that Marilyn Manson, no stranger to scandalous rumors, refuses to confirm or deny the speculation that his sex scene with Evan Rachel Wood in the music video for Heart Shaped Glasses seems awfully real would indicate some level of validation. That Wood had been engaged to Manson around the filming of the video and the shock rocker glowed about Wood's involvement paint a pretty compelling picture to some true-to-life bedroom hijinks taking place. Malcolm McDowell Legends about Caligula have, over time, cemented the Roman emperor as a nefarious and debaucherous ruler known for his love of overt self-indulgence and many sexual conquests. It's no surprise then that the 1979 film about the depraved ruler would have to up its game in the sex scene department. With Malcolm McDowell starring in the titular role of the historical figure, the many sex scenes stood out for their raw, realistic quality that turned out to be entirely authentic. With scenes that included real penetration, fellatio, and ejaculation, the critics deemed the film to be worthless and trashy, but the real Caligula would likely have been proud. Julie Christie and Donald Sutherland Public fascination with the did they or didn't they debate over the authenticity behind famous love scenes may have started with Nick Rogue's 1973 film Don't Look Now. Speculation about one particularly shocking scene featuring lead actors and major Hollywood stars Donald Sutherland and Julie Christie has long stemmed from both the scene's intimate and passionate nature, not to mention the claims of a Paramount executive that allegedly watched it being filmed. The still lingering buzz around the original scenes has even spawned a remake which is currently in pre-production. No word on who will fill the scandalous shoes though of Sutherland and Christie. Chloe Sevigny Few have taken advantage of their powerful position as director quite like Vincent Gallo, who helmed the 2003 indie film The Brown Bunny. 
Gallo has lead actress Chloe Sevigny, then a relatively unknown newcomer, perform unsimulated, on-camera fellatio on Gallo himself. Adding to the creepy vibe of the already uncomfortable four-minute scene was the later admission by Gallo that he had been obsessed with Sevigny long before production of the film. In hindsight, it's hard to see the movie, one that critic Roger Ebert called the worst film in the history of Cannes, as much more than a vanity project designed to get the director some action. Notorious B.I.G. It was actually P. Diddy who let slip the dirty little secret behind the sloppy sounds on famous Notorious B.I.G.'s track, Ready to Die. Nearly 20 years after the release of Biggie's iconic album of the same name, a Huffington Post blogger sat down with Diddy and raised the question of the audio interlude on the track that certainly sounds as though someone is getting some real satisfaction. Responding to the inquiry of whether Biggie is really getting a blowjob, Diddy replied, Yeah, these are the questions that nobody's ever asked, and I think Big would be alright with it. Well, that's our list, guys. Which ones of these videos have you seen? Have you seen them all? Let us know what you thought about them in the comments. And while you're here, check out these other videos, and don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks!